All right, Asia, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Asia Hill. I am 16 years old, and I am just starting college here at Tech, and I am a member of Crossroads. <laughs> okay, so growing up, um, what did you think um, when someone would mention God? How did you feel about God? Well, I was raised um, in a Christian family. Mama was always involved in church, but the thing was we had never found a church that was our own. We never found that church family and we weren't stable. Like we didn't go to a church steady. Um, when I thought of God, I was just like, oh, he's just somebody that I have to sing to or pray to on Sunday mornings. And it just, it didn't really mean anything to me. Like I knew God was always there and I believed in God and I would say a prayer every night, but it was kind of repetitious and it, it wasn't really uh, genuine. It was just kind of, yeah, he's there, he's there. Okay, so how did things begin to change? Um, and it didn't really hit me that I cared so much about God until I started coming to Crossroads. Um, it, it was funny because everybody was just, we were kind of just thrown together at Crossroads and nobody is perfect and it's funny because all through, I mean, you see so many broken lives, but there's so much love in Crossroads and seeing other people who believed so firmly in God and they influenced me a lot at Crossroads and so now I am completely, I mean just completely in love with God and just so excited to get up and go to church and hear different people and their different stories and everything about God and, but I, I know what I believe now because of Crossroads. Well I've always wanted to be baptized, I just, I knew it was such a big step and I didn't want to do it just because people were doing it. I didn't want to do it just because I wanted to know in my heart that it was it was I was ready. Um, so, well, at Crossroads, I I was starting to really get closer to God, and whenever I joined the praise team, um, it really hit me that you know I'm up here for a reason, and I feel like I belong up here, and it just makes sense. I mean, this is where I belong. I belong. In a relationship with God, I belong, you know, using my talents not just for a selfish reason, but because you know it was it's to praise God and to do things for God. And I felt like if I if I feel so strongly about God, I need to do the last step. I need to take that last step and be completely wholeheartedly my life given to God. And I knew it was time. Um, I just I just I just felt it after all these years. I felt it, and I was I'm ready. <laughs> Can you give us a, an example of how things have changed? I fall really easily into peer pressure, and I would never, I would never speak about God to other people because I was afraid that people would label me or they would treat me as an outcast or something. But and now I'm not afraid to be like, hey, I'm a Jesus freak. I really don't care. I'm proud to be that way, and I feel like a lot of people should be. <laughs> now it's just like. That's what I'd rather talk about. I'd rather talk about um, the newest experience I had where God worked in my life and the newest gossip about, you know, the celebrities or something. It's just the trivial things, they don't matter to me. The worldly things don't matter to me anymore. And God is just always on my brain. Just, yay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Asia. <laughs> Same question for you I've had for your family. Have you chosen to follow Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Yes. And I baptize you as my sister in Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. And raised to walk in new life with Him. <laughs>